time for them. You love how they've lived in the paint, making the defense just consistently have to collapse and still finding ways to convert. Something else that they've had working for them is attacking the offensive glass by taking advantage and creating second chance points. Impressive. Hardaway's checked in for Dante Exum. On the floor for Dallas, the star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Hardaway is out there with P.J. Washington. And it's Gafford in at the five, roaming the paint. Here's Hardaway. Rebound, Boston. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. Here's Brown. He doesn't hit that one. Nice D from Doncic. It's very comfortable down low. This guy is an absolute machine. Luka Doncic keeping his foot on the gas and giving the defense everything they can handle. That's him. The Dallas leaders cut down to four points. The basket there is from Brown. Well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. Outside Irving. Pass to Gafford. For Porzingis. Shots good by Gafford. Gafford's got the lead up to six now for the man. Well, he had trouble making shots in the first period, but rounding into himself here in the second. This is a direct, and the call is going to be yes, yes, it is. An illegal screen. Fourth foul of the night. Now he needs to be smart. Can't reach in and pick up something foolish. Now yeah, Orford checked in for Tatum. Mavericks leading by six. Irving passes to Gaffer. Porzingis with the block. Kristaps Porzingis has proven over the course of his young career that he is willing to be a force as a shot blocker. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. I think the thing that's most striking about Derek White, guys, he's capable of affecting games in so many ways. Yes, he can score it excellent passer and a very versatile cross positional defender a guy who can contribute to a good team that one is no good Mavericks leading by five Washington this is the hard away on the wing does it Back to Hardaway. A 10 foot. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one on Horford. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Falls for Gafford. Gafford cans them both. They've done a much better job from the line this half. They've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game. 
It's White on the wing. Outside, Horford. Brown finds Holiday. Lock at six. Outside, Brzingis. Here's White. Wow, through the contact, and that three almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. And he hits the first of three. Good on the second free throw. And he nails the third. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Four-point game. To the paint. Wants to get it to Gafford and does. Up high to stop the alley-oop. Yeah, the court awareness that Luca plays with knows exactly when and where to deliver the pass. And Holiday kicks to Brown. Outside, Brzingis. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got three assists in the game. And he's showing his size now. Right after the one scores. That through passes to Lively. Washington it in. Inside. Here's Lively. Brzingis with the block. It's over Doncic. That one a little long. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. To the inside. And then Washington with the dunk. See, Kyrie never hesitates. As soon as he sees that open man, boy, it is on time. Now a timeout, timeout called timeout. by Boston. You have to like what you're seeing from Luka Doncic. Boy, he's been relentless. And to this point, they haven't had an answer for him on the inside. Let's see if they make some adjustments coming out of the timeout. And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Luka Doncic. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. 
And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. During the break, listen in with Joe Mazzulla and his team. Now, Coach really laid into them. He said, we're too loose with it. Tight it up. These turnovers are going to cost us if we keep giving the ball away. We're better than this. Guys? All right, thank you, David. Holiday dishes to Horford. Pass to Brock. And it's blocked. On the wing, Holiday. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got four assists now tonight. With experience, skill, and ability. Holiday makes the perfect go-to scoring option. Takes the turnaround chain. Gets some rim on the way in. And the bucket's good. Doncic has got eight points in the quarter. Celtics trail by four. by Pepper. Dallas has been off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Boston shooting about 43% here in the fourth quarter. Up top, Brown. And denied, he sends it right off the glass. Donchich with it, and it's Horford picking him up. He locks up the alley pass, and Gifford throws it down. Chemistry at its best, an unreal alley -oop. Now, though, you're right, the pass, the catch, the dunk, all of it perfect. And it's denied. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Fifty-eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. Gafford against Brown. Outside Holiday. Down to five on the shot clock. The three is good, and he got fouled in the act of shooting. This could turn into a four-point play. Gentlemen, that is about excellent concentration from Derek White. You play through the foul. Now you get the old-fashioned three-point opportunity. important possession. No doubt about it. As long as they don't make any major mistakes, this one's in the back. So 
and it gets them both, and it's a four-point ballgame. Yeah, two-possession game now after Sorry. knocking both of those down. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're down by four. There's 25 seconds left to play here in the fourth. There's 25 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And the rejection by Gafford. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Gafford. seconds left in the game and foul on the shot so he'll get a chance at the line and they need a profitable trip here and luckily Brown looks to be in the zone shooting two on the first and that narrows the lead down to just three possession ball game down the stretch always plenty of pressure now can Jalen Brown knock down a free throw and Brown drops them both and now you're in a great position thanks to those clutch free throws. One possession game now. They foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. First one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And you'd rather not foul Doncic here because he loves getting to the line and delivering. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a four-point ballgame. And looking for a very quick shot here. You've got to run a play that's a quick strike. You've got to immediately foul after that. Here's Brown. Outside, Horford. Austin again missing. Got his hand out enough on that one to bother the three-point attempt. Great hustle on that one. You know, we talk about this time and time again. Trying to stay connected to shooters along the perimeter. Nicely done. So a close game sees Dallas taking this one. 
people were writing their obituary before this game. <laughs> but this win cast the series in a whole new light now, Greg. And listen, they still got to win two more. But after seeing how they perform tonight, is there any doubt, Kevin, they're capable of it? I mean, we could be in the midst of a major comeback. No doubt at all. You're right. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Kevin, thank you. Hey, Luca, another win for you, but the games keep coming. So what's the most important thing for this team to establish? I mean, compete, you know, the way we compete today from the start till the end. Uh, the game is never over and just compete. I think it's important that you compete. Congrats on the win, man. Back to you, Kevin. Much appreciated, David. And that concludes our coverage of Game 5 of the NBA Finals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.